Hi, Abby. Um, first of all, I just wanted to go back. I know you probably already know this, but if you wanted to create the assignment, and then if you picked, I just did a copy of this one. If that's the one you wanted to do, then here's where you want to make a copy for each student. So then when the students have the copy, it'll say um, this plus it'll say their name. So that when they, you know, move those around and put them in the proper order or make comments, you know, it won't go on your document or everybody else's. And when you have, I made a copy of this, so I'm not I'm messing up your document. So again, they can just arrange these in the proper order. And then after they do that, if you want them to peer edit, they would just come over here and they'd comment. And it's like, oh, yeah, I agree. Or maybe um, I put um, no noise first because, and then whatever their reason is. So you can see, though, and you want to comment. So you can see those. They can see those. Um, they can even link their reasoning if they have some reasoning um, online, some type of reasoning, they could do that. Um, when, once they're done, they can resolve them. So basically what I would do is I would go through Google Classroom. I would assign each one one of these. If you want to have them work in groups, then just have one kid open it, and then they can change the name of theirs to, you know, Susie, Johnny, you know, Sarah, and Mike. So those, all those could be the name on here. So, you know, that was the one group and then they could work together, talk about it. If you wanted them to show this, the reasons, you know, for why they put it where they did, um, you could, they could do that in the comments. If you want them to peer edit more, you could have them do that, but you can always see the revision history. You can show more detailed revisions, um, the changes. You can, you know, restore things. Um, you can open all the comments. So anyway, there are all kinds of things you can do, and that's just by going to File, Revision History, and, you know, it gives you some other options. So you as the teacher can see, you know, what has happened here. So I hope that helps. You could also, if you wanted to link um, like a video or something here um, in the document and the kids could watch it with headphones before they get started, you could make a screencast of your directions. Um, I don't know, just some ideas just are out there and I would love to help you with any of them because I miss you. So um, please let me know if you need something else. Um, I'd be glad to um, help you out on the phone or screencast or in person, whatever works for you. Okay, bye.